mainly during the internship, kind of the base foundation of everything we do in construction is reading drawings. So that was kind of our main goal to, to teach Subashi how to read drawings. And I just tried to think of how to do that in fun ways instead of just saying, here's a bunch of drawings, figure out how to read them. And we eventually took that into the field where he could interpret the drawings and measure different things like cabinets and wall protection and handrails and things like that and make sure that they're installed correctly, they're the right color, they're installed at the correct height. When I was learning to read the drawings, uh, I had to pay attention to all the little details because there was a lot of flipping of the pages to different pages on the blueprints because the details might be on a different page to get like the specific measurements or like the specific floor like type or the wall protection needed. He actually had me go into the field by myself sometimes too and make sure everything was just check certain things like the walls and the different details. It's virtual design construction so it's planning a construction a job virtually using computers and cameras and uh, laser scanners to kind of get images just so we can model everything three-dimensionally. I just learned about how complicated like everything above a ceiling tile is. When I first stepped into the office I saw on her computer screen an array of just red lines and that was all like pipes and tubes and a ceiling and it was like wow that is complicated. I think the biggest thing about construction is there's a lot more to it than what people think. A lot of people think of construction and they think you're out in the field, look like us with hard hats, you're doing hard labor all day long, and there's really a lot of areas of construction. So VDC being one of those that a lot of people don't hear about, um, project management being another one, all the way to like business development and marketing and things like that that go into construction. So I think the biggest thing is just opening your horizons as far as what is construction and all the possibilities that there are um, might open a lot of doors for what people want to do in their future. So ideally students would start working on internships and job shadows when they're in ninth or 10th grade and then they build up to an experience like Knudsen. So what happens with our two interns here this year, Subashi for example did a construction internship and he did his construction OSHA certification and then um, Elliot also did a construction internship last year. So then this is like a culminating internship. They're seniors, they're able to be on a job site. So now they can come in person and really explore what they've learned in high school and really explore um, all the different experiences they've had to see if this is what they want to do. Definitely show me that I really do want to do construction. And, like I always had that in the back, but I, it is really interesting.